I'm going to take you on a tour with me as we watch Ryan Zerhant's video of a $19 million property. And I'm going to share with you some insights on marketing. What is he doing with branding? How is he keeping people hooked? How is he using uh, the strategy of telling stories in his video to get people engaged and excited? We're in probably the most expensive neighborhood in all of Dallas. I'm in a bright red Porsche. I just took this out of this guy's garage and we're going to go take a look at an old Mike, look at this thing. So he's already said the most expensive neighborhood in Dallas, this Porsche. He, he's got so many things that's pulling you in and creating curiosity that you want to keep watching all in the first 12 seconds. Okay. So pay attention to that kind of stuff. What is this? The coolest garage ever. The coolest garage ever. Would I look good like this? Is that awesome? Or is that cool? me and my blogger sitting in the shower. Holy guacamole, said Diego. Oh my real estate. This is crazy. It's already in the first 38 seconds and you've seen so much you're like, oh, I got to watch. This. So when you're making videos, think about how can I pull people in? I need to do a much better job of this myself. So I'm learning as I'm talking about this, right? So this is how you do good marketing, good branding, good content, pull people in with a lot of curiosity, show them what they want to look at, right? So the title of this video is Touring the Craziest Garage. So it's it's got to be crazy. It's $19 million. It's a mansion. It's, he's doing a lot of things to pull us in. First of all, should we start doing car tours? Like I have so many clients with really, really, really nice cars. Tiny little house outside Houston where I was born in the back bedroom on a mattress not like this. Like, this is like the prince. Okay, you see what he just did there? He told his origin story. He said, I grew up in this place, humble beginnings. I'm a regular guy. Even though he's, you know, TV celebrity, he's Ryan Serhan, bigger than life personality. He He's connecting with his audience by talking about, hey, I'm just like you. I'm a regular guy, but let's check this out. Says his daughter's room right up here. This is wild. You can have a 250 person wedding in this house. You got a circular fountain here so cars can kind of loop around. And then you've got all this land that's surrounding the house. Let's do this. Got it. Holy guacamole, said Diego. Insane. <laughs> what an entryway. Dude, there's like a balcony up there. So this house is nearly 20,000 square feet, 18,000 square feet interior, 2,000 for the garage spaces. An additional 7,000 square feet was just placed into the house as part of a brand new renovation. There's seven full bedrooms, six of which are primary, 15 bathrooms. This house, I wanna say actually, probably has the biggest showers in all of Texas, not just one multiple okay he's giving you facts and details things that you were going to want to see and stick around to look at but he's, he's throwing it all at you like there's this many this many this 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 you're like okay i want to see this right so he's stringing you along he's telling us he's he's making this home tell a story already again we're two minutes 30 seconds we've got a storyline we've got backstory we've got all kinds of curiosity he's saying it's the biggest showers in all of texas right big statements this is not boring He's not selling boring content. He's he's excited. He's making it exciting. He's talking about it exciting. He's he's just coming out of his show. Him. I'm gonna speed it up a little bit. Okay. So the whole entry foyer space, which is totally double height, is archway, such amazing light. The ceiling here has this insane custom chandelier. You've got your entry receiving area. This is kind of what this is called. This house has different themes and different materials almost in every room. Like there is no other room in this entire house that feels like this space. If you follow me, before we get to main living room. Then we've got your movie theater. Every house needs its own cinema. If I knew how to work this, I would totally set it up. So it's like, boom, Ryan Serhan property tours on YouTube, just huge. All right, now around the corner, actually a little bit lost. All right, so elevator here, private elevator hits all four floors of the house. And then secondary bathroom here. So this is your next powder room. See what I'm talking about? All the different styles. Like, look at this. It's your second black toilet. I mean, this looks like a shell. If anyone knows what kind of stone this is, can you put it into the comments so that I can know? Um, it's carved out. I know it's probably not a shell. It's See, that was a little thing right there you might've missed. He's sometimes I think real estate agents, we want to like, no, Hey, I know it all. I know everything, all the details and features and the right words to describe every little thing. He's just like, Hey, I don't even know what this is. Can you, if you know, let, let me know. I, I'm, I'm interested. He, you don't have to come off as 
I know everything about everything. It's okay. Hey, I, I know how to tour homes and know how to sell the home. I don't know about what this this seashell bath sink is. Right? Okay, so he's just being real. This isn't like the biggest oyster in the world. Actually, flip the camera around, Diego. Like show, and don't don't cut out the stuff where I'm saying flip the camera around, Diego. Like keep it in. This is an HGTV. We should keep it nice and raw. Do I look good like this? So you this you see what you just said? I'm not trying. I even though as polished as Ryan is, he's like, I want to be real. I'm a, I'm a real guy. I want this video to be real and raw. Don't cut that out. Just make it real. That's what people want. Hello, people want real. I'm going to say that again. People want real, right? They want raw. That's why there's reality shows, right? People want like the real. They want. Okay. I, 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 I let's go. You get your bar. Please. What's going on? This. I feel like I want a fish steak now. I want everything this owner has. Like his Porsche that we drove in on, plus these fish. Oh, look, those fish. Look at the blue ones. It's like Sir Hamp Blue. I could like just stand and stare at See that? That's branding. Sir Hant Blue. He talked about you, his YouTube channel. He's throwing in, he's sprinkling his branding, his name in this video. He's acting like a kid here. Like as fascinated as you would be at an aquarium, he's acting that way. He's, he's being real. Not like, oh, this is a really fancy fish tank. He's, he's having fun with it. Forever. 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 Okay. Bar area, party area leads down now into the sunken formal living room. And what did I tell you? Fireplace bigger than me. I told you in one of our past property tours that if I found a fireplace bigger than me, everyone who's watching has to subscribe to my account. So please smash that like button. Go subscribe right now. You know I love you for it, so please go do it. And then back up these stairs. This is the main subscribe. kitchen. <laughs> so, oh, listen. yeah. Dude, look at this fridge. Beautiful. Oh, Diego loves a good fridge. Is there anything in there? No, we got some work to do. Like what? Can you open that red box? What's in the red box? Sealed, What's in the open? Oh. It? Send a cake? A little curiosity, right? What is this? All of a sudden, right? It's just something in the fridge. If you're a real estate agent, you have opened the fridge and been like, what is this? <laughs> Don't lie and say you haven't. <laughs> you've been like, what is this inside this fridge? What is this in this box? And you're like, oh, that's cool. That's different. Wow. Okay. He's so doing that. What? Stop trying to steal their cake. Shut the oh. door. Unbelievable. Look at this stove. It's a little interesting that this then sits above like a wolf, right? The classic wolf with the red knobs versus maybe like, because there's so much French limestone, 10,000 square feet of just interior livable space. So carpetable square footage. It's really, really, really open. The biggest primary bedroom suite in Texas. Now this is a hallway. This is the hallway just to get from like the laundry back area of the house in the kitchen to get to the primary suite. It's almost so like you could make a video walk down the hallway. He's making a big deal about the hallway, right? He's making everything here exciting. Nothing boring. Do not be boring. People don't want like boring. Catwalk. You ready? <laughs> How so much fun right is there. the hallway now? Fly all the way up and then all the way down. So an extra hour of flying time. This bed is so soft. I don't know why it's so soft. It's just staging. Huge open primary suite. I've got another <laughs> fireplace. This just one is staging. Custom and it's completely insane. Leave a comment below. Have you ever laid down on the staging bed? <laughs> Have you ever taken a nap? <laughs> Leave a comment if you've taken a nap on the staging bed. <laughs> right? This first one. Look at this shower. Oh, there's glass here. It's only thought that you could get to the tub that way. But you can't, it's like the tub is its own little space. But this also has this petrified stool here. You turn on the hot water and you just sit here and you think about how great your life turned out to be. These mirrors, hello. Oh, dude, you've been having me film with this like smudge on my eye. You said more raw. Dude, if you guys like the style of this property tour where it's a bit more raw, let us know, right? See? Oh, oh, oh headphones. I just connected, he's connected, now he's disconnected. Dude, I would put all my watches here. You see my new watch that my wife got me as a present? The Vacheron, how do I do this thing? Look at that, oh, my hands are so dry. Look at that, leather band. See, he constantly throws in how, how he's just a regular guy. Hey, oh, I got this smudge on my face. Oh, my hands are so dry. Like, he's just being a real person. This is what people, and real estate agents need to take note of this. You don't have to be as polished as he is. Look at, look at the watch, but you know what? I'm still a real human. I'm still me. I'm still just like you. He's connecting with his audience. Do that. More of that, please. And Sir Hamp Lou, baby, where'd you go? I'm right here. Okay. You can give me my job back now. Okay, great. All right, onward and forward. Now we got the outside. Lots of outdoor space here, obviously, we're in Texas. 1.3 acres, and you've got all the exterior stone on this house. This house is really, really long. And then you've got these two pools. This is a little like LA, you know, all the property tours that we do in LA, Miami, like the multiple pools. So this one's heated, deep, 
It's kind of fun because it's almost floating inside of itself since it's a kind of waterfall pool all the way around. And then you've got this glass encased pool. I think this is pretty cool. Not that you'd use it that often. It's not like you're going to sit here and you're going to have someone swim around unless you're Ennis. All right, so that's a whole. So, so he's, he just commented on another YouTuber, right? Ennis is, does all these tours. He's, he's, he's relating to the whole community of where he's putting his content on YouTube. Picking all the individual materials to all the different furnishings for staging the place. That's why the house is super unique and special because it's one person's kind of brainchild instead of a professional designer who comes through who's kind of rinsing and repeating ideas. And then what kind of fixtures are these? Hello, can I get in? You think there's a Newport brass? What is this? Let's see if they work. <laughs> Unbelievable. And then another massive closet. Every kid in this house gets a huge closet. This closet goes back, 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 back. I love real estate. I love this house. I love what I do. And I would love you to love them too. Oh, thank you. So do you see what he just did? He just grabbed the camera. It's okay to do this. Some people are like, I need a professional videographer every single time. You could do a video of you holding the camera. It's okay to do that. This is why I tell people just make content. Just do it. So first, look at the ceiling. Crazy. If you stand right in the center, you're totally by yourself with the echo. So look at this bathroom. This is one of the biggest showers in Texas. Whoa, and you get another echo. Just hanging out in like the richest neighborhood in all of Dallas, $19 million house, having a conversation in one of the 15 bathrooms. Why not? Okay, where are we now? We're, we're, we're at the yoga studio. Oh, oh right, yoga studio, okay. I sweat enough in my life to put myself in a room where all I'm supposed to do is sweat. All right, there you go. We forgot, no, walk around, we forgot a room. We forgot a room, come around. You forgot the princess room. So this is the princess room with dressing room, play space uh, that looks out over the courtyard. This bathroom, so this is the glass bead wallpaper. Wow, that's it's really, cool. really famous and a real pain in has to install. And what does this say on the toilet? Expelliarmus. Oh. This might be my favorite room. This is where I just found you. I wouldn't be surprised if this is gonna be one of his most watched tours ever. Not because he has more subscribers now, but because of how real and raw it is. That, that's the theme here that I'm seeing place you've got your 15th and final powder room right over here like look at this look at these doors oh, it's so cold in here i don't even know how many bottles this could hold but this is an insane wine cellar do you imagine this like full of the most expensive wine in the world that's just here and you're coming down and just picking a bottle you get the champagne bottles see he just did a little bit of selling there with this imagine if this you had this right that's good you want to do that in your content Hey, you could have X. What would it be like if you had X, right? Just good old sauce. It like it's hot. It felt like Sirhan on Bravo. I one night was sabering a bottle of champagne with a sword as a magnum bottle, and the bottle, the cork didn't just pop off. The pressure built up in the magnum bottle and exploded the bottle, and it like took my hand off. So you can still see it. That Ouch. scar that runs up my entire Ouch. thumb. So how many stories has he told already in this video about the Porsche and about? Like just he's gone through and told probably like four or five store little mini stories, thirty second, you know where I'm from. Like, pay attention to that. That's what people want. People want stories, stories connect with people. Stories, people love stories. And his entire finger was dangling. So you can I still mean, see a little scar there. This happened delicious. in 20, I want to say 17. I don't even remember. It's like the trauma. Insane, the things you find in Texas. But <laughs> I just love that garage. And we only saw it for just a quick second in the beginning. So let's go back to the garage. We're back. <laughs> the coolest garage. So this is what the video is all about. And he saves the best for last, right? He saves what the topic of the video. He hinted at the beginning though. So like he teased at it. So you got to see that um, in the very beginning, right? What this, what this video is about, the garage. But here we are now at the end 15 minutes and now we're back in what this video is the craziest garage right ever so deliver deliver on what the video is about favorite part of the house in, in some way in the beginning hint at it but then you can save the best for last you can no, save in the comments the garage or is it the 20,000 square feet? Or is it the seven bedrooms? Or is it the 15 bathrooms? Or is it the four? See how engaging this is? He's asking you to be involved with it. Hey, leave a comment. Hey, so, say something below about what's this or that, you know, this or that. So he wants, he's Kitchens, engaging with the audience. Or is it the screening room? Or is it the wine cellar downstairs? Or is it all the Juliet balconies? Or is it the double height ceilings? Or is it all the French limestone? And I could go on and on and on. This house is insane. On the market for just under $19 million. And these guys left me with the keys. So I got some time before I get to my flight. Don't tell anyone. Oh, it fits like a glove. Hold on. Wait. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Here we go. Engagement. Engagement. Yep. Connecting with yep. people. All right. So what could you do to make video content just like Ryan Serhant just did? You can do it without a big budget. You can do it without a bunch of fancy cameras. You can do it without a cameraman, right? You could literally just turn the, your phone on, hit record and go to a property. You don't have to be Ryan Serhant. You don't have to have his personality. You don't have to have his clientele. You don't have to have a $19 million property. Go start making content and tell stories. He, he did stories throughout his video. He related to his audience, being a human, being real, being raw, being like, Hey, I'm just like you. And people want that. He, he kept the energy alive. He did. There was not a dull moment in it, right? There was not a boring part of that video. Everything, even the hallway was exciting. Everything was exciting. So that's the kind of content your audience wants. People want stuff exciting. They want energy. They don't want to be falling asleep to your video. That's not why they're on YouTube. That's not why they're on Instagram. That's not why they're they're browsing the web is to fall asleep. They're looking to engage and be entertained and learn and grow. So do that with your content. So go make some videos just like Ryan Serhant just did. And if you found value in this, subscribe, hit, hit that like button, leave a comment below. I'd love to know what type of videos do you want to know more of? What kind of uh, videos should I be reacting to or should we be learning from some lessons about marketing and sales and uh, just really making more content, making better content. So again, uh, thanks for stopping by and I hope to see you on the next video. Have a great day.